This footage is of one of the hottest gun battles that took place this week. On one side, the terrorist, and on the other, the Special Hostage Rescue Unit, an international team equipped with the best weapons. Okay, cut. Great job, guys. So this is another day at the office for Richard Makowitz, or just plain Mac. Jonathan, you break off? Host of the popular Discovery Channel show Future Weapons, which visited Israel this week. I always say to people, I have the best job in the world. I get to go around the world shooting big guns, flying an incredible aircraft, and blowing things up. 10 million viewers in the U.S. alone watched the program hosted by Mac, a former Navy SEAL, on the weapons of the future. A burst that comes up about 30 feet in the air comes down and rains down metal. I want to find out what's going to help the guys in the field first and foremost. Then I want to find out what's really kind of cool about the device. Here at the Caesarea firing range, they are filming the finale of the special episode dedicated to the Israeli weapons industry. <laughs> They're rescuing some poor damsels in distress, females, bringing them to a helicopter, and they're going to take off and sail into the sunset. Happy ending, thanks to Israel. That's how it is in the U.S. Many dream of weapons, and with all due respect to the charming ultimate good guy host, the people of Israel are fantastic. The real hero comes in a suitcase. It's the corner shot, the folding Israeli rifle with the camera and monitor. Apart from the gun, the episode is dedicated to the Micro Tavor rifle and the Scorpion system which assesses the rifles we know. 